Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. This is going to be a Diablo 3 video about the hardest part of the Altar of Rights. In my opinion, I am there here on my main account on the live season and I have completed it. I have done it. I will talk about the journey. What was the most difficult part? Uh, what to prepare yourself for when you are diving into getting this Staff of Herding, which you will need to do to finish your Altar of Rights and everything that goes into finishing this here in this video so that you are equipped to finish it as soon as possible. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so yeah, like I said, uh, this is going to be the last difficult thing that I have to do, and I'm going to be able to do it here in the video. I've already farmed all of the resources. I'm just going to be kind of talking about that and, and what to expect along the way and how to kind of do it as fast as possible. But after this, the last one will just be something like 1,600 blood shards, I think it is, and then I will have the altar done. So, okay, as you can see right up here in my stash, I have got the Black Mushroom, Wurtz Bell, Laorix, Shinbone, the Glibbering uh, Gemstone. That's the hardest part, by the way, by far. And then also the Liquid Rainbow, which is a little bit difficult uh, in its own right as well. Now, uh, the Staff of Herding is going to be under the Blacksmith. And then you're going to go to Weapons, and you're going to go down to Staff. And then right here, you will see Staff of Herding. And then right above my little camera box, it will show you uh, all of those materials that you saw in my stash which means that since it is a blacksmith craftable item you need to get the plan now the plan is going to be from iswal so to farm up the plan you're going to open up your map you're going to go to act four and then up here in the top middle where you see is a wall that is where you are going to go to farm the plan i'll quickly kind of uh walk you through these different things here uh now th this one is super simple i don't think the difficulty really matters i was doing it on uh on t16 because i'm i'm pretty well geared and t16 isn't that hard but uh what you're gonna do is you're just kind of gonna kind of go through here until you find the area where is wall spawns and head down there and then you will uh, go down this long corridor you'll fight Iswal and then hopefully the plan drops now uh, I've seen some people get this like in four or five tries and for me this was the one thing I got kind of bad luck on this can take oh I don't know I, I believe it took me about 25 30 kills so you can have some bad luck and uh, and have it take up to like 35 40 kills probably but uh, not too bad it's pretty quickly you should be able to do this uh, about once every 45 seconds or a minute or so so boom you kill Iswal and then if I didn't have the plan already there would be a chance that right here he would have dropped it and then boom you go to the blacksmith and you read the book and you've got the ability to craft the staff of herding so after you've acquired the plan to actually build the staff you're going to want to go to act two and in town you will go to the peddler over here towards the top side right here squirt the peddler and then under the miscellaneous tab i believe i already bought it there was a wurtz bell for sale so you want to buy that and then you'll see that's what this is right here and you get this from that peddler uh the little girl in act two and then there was a couple things that we need to get in Act 1. So first of all, we're going to go to the Cathedral Level 1. Uh, right here, Cathedral Level 1, up kind of to the top middle of the Act 1 map. And there's going to be an area uh, with, with like, a little, uh, like, a, like a little mushroom pile on the ground. And you are going to find that in here. And I'll kind of show you what the room looks like a little bit. So let's see if I can go through the, uh, the Cathedral a little bit and show you kind of the room that it would look like where it kind of spawns in so you run around here and boom uh there'll be like a separate kind of uh bookshelf kind of room don't see anything that kind of resembles it yet trying to kind of go quickly okay it, it, it wasn't here on this map so let's jump forward a little bit here until i got into a new game and this is kind of what it's going to look like You'll see a room like this right here, and you'll have the black mushroom in here. It's kind of like this little this little side room, and then on the ground, there'll be a patch of black mushroom. It'll be in kind of a room, uh, a square room here in Cathedral Level 1 like this. And let's keep going. Sometimes there's multiple ones like that uh, where you can find the, uh, the black mushroom. Like, yeah, so up here, this is another room kind of. Yeah, so like that, like it's, it's a square room like that. I'll keep going. I'll kind of just, just progress until I dead end. Oh, yeah, here's another area. Um, and then boom, up here and in a room like this. Uh, you'll be able to find the black mushroom. It's not too bad, especially if you have friends helping you look for it. It's that That's a pretty easy part of the process as long as you're diligent about checking Cathedral Level 1. 
and that will be this black mushroom right here and then we need to get the laoryx shin bone now this one is going to be in the laoryx manor courtyard point over here on the left side of the act one map you go in here and then you proceed right into the laoryx manor and then this one's really quick to check for it's right next to the waypoint you come up into here and you look into this fireplace right there now this one seems to be about a five percent spawn rate or so if you do 20 or 30 games you'll probably see it it's not too bad uh, again this was one that we were able to do pretty quickly and that will look like this you see the laoryx shin bone that i have right here now the last two pieces that we have to get are a little bit more complicated and a little bit more difficult let's let's go in order uh here so let's start with the liquid rainbow this one gets a little bit interesting so you're gonna go in let me actually switch my build to a more speed build to get around here oh, let's go right there okay so what you're gonna want to do is come into act two and then you're gonna go to the dogger oasis which is where the key warden is so be careful the key warden can reflect damage and hit you very hard so be careful maybe try out like a gold wrap type of build uh so you're constantly farming up gold and what you're going to want to do is go into the dogger oasis and it's usually um to the south or like the east ish and you're going to kind of run in there and look for a, a a little side nook in the map where there is an area to go into like a cellar door so let me show you what i'm talking about here and yep, there's the key warden. You want to uh, maybe pick up some gold or something uh, with a gold wrap to uh, to be prepared to survive. Okay, so I'm not seeing it yet. It's usually kind of down south. Um, okay, so yeah, right here. This is it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this is kind of like a, a, a possible spot that it looks like where uh, the, the NPC will spawn. There will be an NPC right next to this door that you can click on, and then he will open up for you to go in there and then that's where you'll find a chest containing the liquid rainbow and the area to the door will be labeled a mysterious cave now sometimes honestly you can find two different areas okay yeah so given the way this map is laid out yeah this yeah this narrow passage okay it's gonna be down here yeah, it's usually like to the south or um or like the uh or like the east ish but sometimes you have to go north a little bit to uh to get there but you just kind of hug this right side of the map is what i kind of found looking for it and then you'll get a little nook eventually typically if you keep going um is this it yep okay yep so then this would be another kind of area similar to where the mysterious cave could spawn you'd have that npc right here and they would open up the cellar to the mysterious cave then once you are in there, make sure you open up every chest. There's going to be a chest in there that will drop the liquid rainbow. And right there, that is what the liquid rainbow will look like once you've acquired that. Now, this next one is going to be the one where horror stories form. This is the tough one. Now, I got insanely lucky. I'm not kidding. I, I swear on everything. I got this the very first game that I tried to get it. I found the Caverns of Frost. I found Chiltara. And Chiltara dropped the, uh, the uh, glibbering gemstone for me. My very, very first try. It took me less than a minute to get this. But then I continued to helping one of my friends get this. And it took us a few hours of getting new games and me inviting him and trying to farm this thing uh, to help my friend get this as well. So you can get a wild variety of RNG searching for this thing. Some people, it's a few minutes. Some people, it's a few hours. And this is the toughest part. Probably the whole season of completing your altar is getting this gibbering gemstone. But what you're going to do to search for this is uh, is go to Act 3 on the map and then the Bridge of Corsic. Now, uh, ideally, you get a bounty that shows you there is a Caverns of Frost, like clear the Caverns of Frost, or there is a bounty kill Chiltara. Both the bounties uh, seem a little bit rare, so it's kind of rough. You do want to go in and search for the area typically, and you typically want to do this with friends. And then when you go into the Bridge of Corsic Waypoint, you are going to head up north into the area, and you're going to look for the uh, the Caverns of Frost. Now, I had pre-cleared this and kind of looked for it, so I knew uh, where to kind of go, but I, I found that this was an Icefall Caves, which is a good thing to talk about in the video. So you see that this is Icefall Caves level one you do not want to go in here this means that you want to make a new game and start again because we need to find caverns of frost and in this area you're either going to get the icefall caves or the caverns of frost so you would back out and you would create a new game and then the first thing you want to do is kind of look at the bounties 
to make sure and check. Uh, and I believe there's actually a couple bounties that tell you um, exactly if you should make a new game or not. Now, this is a no bounty on the bridge of Corsic. So it means we've got a decent chance that we'll find the Caverns of Frost in here. And let's go ahead and start searching in the area and see if we can't get a Caverns of Frost. And boom, there we have it. There is Caverns of Frost. Now, uh, once you've got this, it's pretty quick. You can blast on through here pretty fast. And it's going to be mostly a straight shot through these different corridors. Um, okay. And Caverns of Frost level two right there. So now this is where like if you're playing with friends, you would want to call people in ideally uh, and, and bring them in to go in and see if Chiltara is going to be in this level two of the Caverns of Frost. Everybody comes in and then boom, we come in and we hope that Chiltara is here forward clearing everything and doesn't look like we're getting good luck yet with a chiltara in here and there we go we got a chiltara and right there you can see that i just killed a chiltara right there but uh i already got the gemstone but that's what you would want to see i, I can actually remove my camera here and show you what was there so yeah, you see down there on the bottom left of the screen, it says chosen engaged Chiltara and then chosen killed Chiltara. That's what you're looking for. That's the mob you need to kill in Caverns of Frost level two and get the gibbering gemstone which good luck that thing is really really difficult like i say for me it took one kill uh my friend had to kill chiltara like 60 or 70 times and she's not in every game you have to first find the caverns of frost then you have to find her in level two then you have to kill her so there's lots of different rng things that need to line up and on top of that it's a very very low drop rate so be uh be happy when you get the gibbering gemstone it's one of the more difficult things to kind of farm for this season but then after you do everything i've kind of shown you in this video and you uh you get the rng on your side you're finally ready to go into weapons go into staff and craft the staff of herding so let's go ahead and fire it up and boom there we go one of the more difficult things to do for the altar of rights in season 28 and then you would go up and you would plug this in you've got your staff of hurting right there so yeah hopefully i uh, helped you uh get a little bit of an understanding of uh, of what the journey is like to get that staff of hurting and uh let me know down below if you've had uh good luck or bad luck and, and what the journey's been like for you so far filling up the altar i should be able to finish mine uh very soon I'll plug that in and get the 1600 blood shards i'm already at 1100 and i am done the altar of rights is complete for season 28 hope you all are enjoying diablo 3 season 28 and as always remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy diablo content i'll see you soon in the next video peace